I would like to, somebody to make a motion to add item 6 8, which is the police canine program to the agenda. I'll make that motion. Second. Okay. Just to remind everybody that on February 8th. Oh, we have to vote. Yeah, you have to vote. Okay. So we got a motion, we got a second. Okay. Any discussion? In favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstained? Motion carries. Thank you. Okay. On February 8th of this year, the Board of Selectmen recommended to eliminate the funding <coughs> for the police department's canine program which at the time was a reduction of $2,300 in the police department budget for that particular line item. I think we need to clarify the Board of Selectmen's recommendation and the reasons for doing what we did by uh, not by eliminating that funding. Our, our decision to eliminate the funding was not just budgetary, but also from a risk assessment and liability standpoint. Uh, we have been advised by our insurance advisors and consultants that when you look at this particular program, um, cost factor to reinstate the liability coverage because of the canine program, especially in view of the young fortunate prior experience that we had from a liability aspect um, this could be devastating one really bad incident with a child could be well over a million dollar claim and when you look at the, the risk factors involved here unfortunately as well trained as these dogs are they are animals, and other programs, unfortunately, have borne out some very unfortunate events. And so, we did discuss this during our decision, but I want to make it clear that it was both a budgetary and for uh, liability reasons that we made that decision. We hadn't, we hadn't well, seen anything. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't discuss that. We didn't talk about liability. It was, I, I did. No, we was, didn't. No, I said it because I, what I said wasn't liability. It was we have not seen what their plan was. They right. haven't come to us about reinstating it. My it, point was not putting the budget if we don't have a program. We don't have a program. And they haven't brought a program to us. So I'm not against the canine. We, we haven't seen it. If they if it was done correctly. And we probably know. haven't taken it off the liability insurance anyway because it just ended. It's probably still there. We paid the premiums already. It's not going to bump us up probably that much. That's a it, that's that's another problem in itself. But the fact is they just said we're going to do it without talking to us after we did have an issue. That was why we, that's why I recommend to take it out. Do we know what the insurance situation is on that? Or it's probably still in the policy. Yeah, so the fact yeah. that you've got yeah, a liability claim. Yeah. Hit the door. The, the program door. wasn't terminated. We just sold the dog. Get rid of the dog. So technically it hasn't been. Well, if they want to reinstate by a new right. dog, but they have to come to you with a plan. Right. Sure. But I, so my, my point is that the budget was funding. not to tell them they could not reinstate the program. It was because we don't have, currently have a dog, so why put the money in the budget? Yeah. So I, I, I disagree. Well, it's been recommended to me by the insurance consultant. That's okay. That's okay. We're not, okay. not saying that, but that wasn't what we talked about. Yeah, yeah. Meeting, no, and I'm not going to vote tonight to not receive the program. And I understand they're all raising money. They got a guy that one of them was going to be a handler. And I know there were issues with the prior prior handler because it just it was all consuming of his life. Yeah. And how's that going to change now? We haven't seen any of that, so I don't see how they can go forward with it. I, I'm not going to vote tonight. I'm not raising the program. I don't think we are. We're not. I think that's No, it's a clarification of what we talked about. Then I don't know what you just said. I'm not, I, my only reason for recommending that it not be placed in the budget was that we don't have a dog currently. It was, it had nothing to do with so risk there. assessment. It was budget. So that's, that's as far as I'm prepared to go. Me too. 
I have, I have several reasons why I think reinstating this program is a mistake. Uh, the first one being the liability. We've seen two bad examples of what a poorly trained, not trained, but a poorly put together program can result in. Two, two things. <coughs> one to a child. And when you have a dog that bites a child in the face, that's huge. That dog should have left, and I argued to have that dog removed at that point. And it's hung on for another couple of years till it drew blood in an adult, and then we got rid of it. The cost factor of having dog, the liability, the officer who was assigned 24-7 to this dog. I mean, what's the point of having a dog if it can't get called out at 2 o'clock in the morning or 6 o'clock in the morning? And how much does that cost the town to have that dog available 24-7, 365? That costs a lot. That's a lot more than the $9,000 they've raised or the $15,000 that they want to raise. It's the big picture of the liability, the officer's commitment, the time and training that goes into that dog. This is a, a huge project, much, much bigger than the $15,000 that, that the police department is waving around. Plus, I don't see the justification for the program in the first place. We have had a dog, two out of how many years? I know there was one years and years ago, but two out of how many years? How does that justify having to, to, to recreate this program from zero? Exactly. We don't have a train. We don't have an officer who's trained here. right now. Right. We have to take that officer out of our ranks, send him somewhere for several weeks, work him full time with that dog, reimburse him for having the dog. I can see a hundred reasons for not reinstating well, we this program. They have to come here, and these are all valid arguments we can have. And the liability alone is enough for me to want to sign off on this program. Well, when they come to us, then I think that's the appropriate well, time to do it. Right. Not, not if you want to go now. They don't have then. the money to do it. They don't have a dog in now, so what's the matter? They have a dog kicked out. Well, they have a dog and showing people pictures of the dog. They are much farther along in this than you think they are. Much farther. I do know about that. So let's just. Um, well, we just, if you bother to look at the minutes of the state of the department, then you would know what they're planning to do. No, I don't think we to the team. It doesn't matter. Yeah, what does it mean? It doesn't matter. I'm you're, saying no, I'm not voting to get rid of You're the missing the point. The point is, they gave me a worst case scenario, which is, God forbid, a kid loses a finger, a little child, by accident. You know how much that claim is? It doesn't matter how much money the chief raises for this program, it isn't worth it. God forbid, a child it. loses a finger in a door right there. The chances you're, of a you're animal. Well, you guys dog. have a dog. You're talking about dog versus dog. This is dog. not what we have in the conversation. Okay. Well, I, I just don't believe this is this is when to have this conversation. I think there's a time for a vote. They come to us. They ask us ask for this thing on the program, and if you don't want it, then then we say no. At this point, they haven't done any of that. Well, they haven't done any of that. Well, they, have they have a dog that they have chosen. They have a handler that they have yeah, vetted and that they have chosen for this program. They are 75% along in this process, and they didn't bother to even come here and talk to us about it. All they did was throw in a line item. You as the liaison should tell them that they should be sitting here or that it's not going to happen. Okay. All right. Yep. You're right. No, we're yet. And you, why didn't you talk when you were down talking to the chief whenever that I was? Did. Why didn't you tell him? He explained it. I just listened to him. Why didn't you him. tell him? I did tell him. Anything that's got to come to us. All right. I don't think they've got that concept yet. No, I don't either. No. Yeah. Okay. So, I don't know what you were looking for for tonight, Bruce. No, I didn't get what I wanted, but uh, I, I wanted the clarification. So you know what the insurance consultants are saying. No, I, we understand that, but uh, that's not at that. It if you're, if you're looking to change the minutes from our budget thing, if that's not what I voted for. Change the minutes. Just the clarification. Okay. All right. Um, Selectmen's reports. 